There are definitely countless ways of playing a skill and I'm not referring to the number of skills available, major, minor, pentatonic, melodic, minor, harmonic, minor, etc. I am referring to all the possible shapes of a scale. Now the problem with this is that there is one scale and countless shapes. So how do you even get started with this and how do you know which shapes should you practice? In this video, I'm gonna show you the five different levels of a scale. I'm gonna show you classical scales, basic scales, vertical scales, three notes per string scales, and symmetrical scales. Of course, guys, each scale works in a slightly different way. And so we're gonna start with the classical scales, which are the most simple. Now guys, I call them classical scales because these are usually the scales that classical guitar players practice all the time. So they are great. And most of the time they're played with open strings, not all the time, but the most simple classical scales will be played with a combination of fretted notes and open strings, for example, the C major scale. Or the G major scale. And it's raining right now. Now, if you are a beginner, you could definitely pick one or two classical scales and improve your technique. So they work great not only for your finger picking technique, but also for your left hand. Now let's quickly talk about the basic shapes, which are among the most popular on the guitar. They are very simple to memorize and the go-to for noodling and improvising. Now the basic shapes uh, can be broken down into just five shapes. So if we are in a key of C major, uh, we're gonna play five different shapes. And we don't necessarily have to, you know, begin and end the scale starting with the note C. For example, the first shape could be this one. It's just a sweet spot. Now the second shape is this one. And as you can see, this one is within the pentatonic box, so it's kind of easy to... Shape number three is very popular on the guitar. Shape number four. last one which is also really really popular on the guitar if you're playing in the key of C major or A minor the chances are that you already uh, play within this box so the shape is this one guys make sure that you always memorize where the root note of each position 
is found so that if you want to transpose these shapes in a different key, you can easily do it. For example, if I'm playing this shape, I know that the root note is the C, which is right here and here. So I build the scale around these notes. Now let's talk about vertical shapes. These are great because they cover the entire fretboard. There are seven shapes, meaning we can build a shape starting from each degree of the major scale. So if the notes of the C major scale are C, D, E, F, G, A, and B, it means that I can build a shape starting from each note of the scale. So the lowest note that I can play on the guitar, the lowest fretted note is the note F. So I can build a vertical shape starting from the note F. Of course, I'm gonna be using the notes of the C major scale, but starting from the note F. So I'm gonna play them like this. Now we can call this shape four because it starts from the fourth degree of the major scale, in this case, the C major scale. So the shape four starts with the note F. And as you can see, we are covering all the possible notes within this box. So we start with the note F and we finish with the note A. And we are playing a combination of three and two notes per string. Now let me show you the other six shapes. Let's try the position number five. We're gonna start with the note G. Position six with the note A. Position seven with the note B. Position one with the note C. Position two with the note D. And position three with the note E. Now, level number four is three notes per string. And the cool thing is that they can be quite similar to the vertical shapes, uh, with the exception that we always have three notes per string. So uh, if you think about it, if you play the position four that we just learned, you have to make sure that when you get to the second string, where we usually play just two notes, we have to play three notes and so we're gonna have to shift from let's say position one to position three and that's the reason why you know the three notes per string uh, are not my favorite shapes just because they kind of have to move away from the box for example this is position four played with three notes per string <laughs> Now, to be honest with you, I don't really find natural to change position on the second and the first string. As you can see, I have to move up and play the D with the first finger, and then the G with the first finger. So basically, um, we play the first note, which is the F, and the highest note is the B on the fret seven. It's kind of a wide range, you know, to play a scale you know, within seven frets. And so they're not my favorite, even though they're great if you wanna play the scales fast. Now, last level, level number five is symmetrical 
shapes or symmetrical scales. Now these are pretty fun to play. I'm gonna uh, show it to you on the acoustic guitar, but of course you can play it on the electric as well. I just really like these symmetrical shapes. And one thing that I love is the fact that we don't necessarily have to play the full scale. For example, take a look at this pattern. So I'm playing six notes. This is a, a G minor scale, and I'm playing uh, these symmetrical shapes over different uh, strings. So I'm playing three, five, six, three, five, six. So I'm only playing six notes of the G minor scale. And then I'm going to repeat the same six notes, one octave higher, and it's basically the same shape. So it's five, se five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight. And then the same thing on the B and the E string. We have eight, 10, 11. So it's a great exercise. So of course we can play as many shapes as we want. For example, I could play, that's a G major scale, right? And I'm playing the note G, A, B, C, and B. And if you memorize the finger shape, I have finger two, four, and one, two, and four. And I can do the same thing now one octave higher. Starting from the fret five. And the same thing on the B string. It's the same finger shape. As you can see guys, we can have one scale and multiple shapes. So take a look at these five different levels and try to figure out which scales work for you. If you wanna improve your technique, go for the classical scales and the three notes per string. If you wanna improve the way you navigate the fretboard, definitely go with the basic and vertical shapes. And if you wanna work on patterns, check the symmetrical scales. Now I'm gonna leave you to practice all these lovely scales. Take it step by step guys, and I'll see you soon.